What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have an exciting unboxing to dig into for you guys. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it everyone. So we have a awesome pen coming into the channel. This was sent into the channel by Bastion Pens. And I am excited guys as I have one of their aluminum bolt action pens and it is extremely well done we can bring that guy out here in a moment but for now let's get this guy out of the packaging nice packaging very very nice and there's a couple other odds and ends that i will bring out here in a moment so there is another refill and then there's our nice pen guys housed in this foam sleeve here and bastion guys has very affordable pens even their titanium pens here like this guy uh, they are very affordable. I don't know the price for this off the top of my head. I do remember, though, that the aluminum one is like $25, $30, bucks, and they often run sales on all of their pens. Uh, and they have very small mini aluminum pens. They have slim pens. They have full-size pens. Uh, so they got a bunch of different sizes. They have a bunch of different materials from steel to aluminum to titanium. And I think they are even getting into more exotic stuff as well. Nice little rubber thing there to protect the ink cartridge. The bolt is really, really nice. Uh, it's a little different. Might as well bring it out. I always leave it sitting here on my desk. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not different. It's actually the exact same thing. This is the black aluminum version of their pen. Same, same thing. Uh, just this is aluminum. This one is titanium. They're both very lightweight. Now, here's a little difference, though. Uh, this is, I guess, considered their full size, right? Not necessarily in the, the length, but in the thickness of it, where this is going to be the slim model. I don't know if that's on here or not. Yes, Bastion Slim Bolt Action. And then this is going to be the titanium version. They have a couple of they have a couple of different finishes as well when it comes to their titanium pens, aluminum pens. They got all kinds of different colors. I will have all their stuff linked down below uh, from Amazon. I'll link their website as well. But uh, I know they are heavy on Amazon's platform there. Uh, they do a lot of sales through there, I would have to believe, uh, because they're, they're very affordable, but they're very well done as well. And uh, a couple other odds and ends that will also come with this guy is a sleeve to put your pen in. Say you're not using it or what have you. This is kind of the, the storage for it, if you will. Say you have a big pen collection, you carry a bunch of different pens uh, day in and day out or a couple weeks at a time. This would be a nice little place to, why don't we bust this out of the packaging and just see. And then here is another refill. It looks like it's probably going to be black bastion. And then I'm not sure if you... I don't know if they sell their own refills or not, but I, it looks almost like it might be a Schmidt refill. I, I Don't quote me on that. We can probably find out. Let me see what this one says. So, okay, so these are their own branded refills. It says Bastion right there on the side. Uh, we can double check that, though, before the video is over. And... Yeah, those are the same size. So, yeah, it's not an adjustable pen. That makes sense. Okay, so let's dig this guy out. And 
I believe that's what this is for. I don't think this is for carrying it on your person. I believe this is a place for you to kind of stow the pen, you know, say you got, yeah. I think this is probably to stow the pen away, you know, wherever you store all your pens. And that is the pillow for your pen. And boy, there's almost enough room in there. I don't want to scratch either of these up because I really like them. The machining is really nice on their pens as well. Let's slide that guy out of the way for a moment. And it looks, yeah, it looks like the machining is even better. Look at that. You don't even see it. The way that these companies are able to machine these to look like one solid piece uh, is absolutely insane. Uh, I'm not, if you're not aware, the the amount of attention to detail, the tolerances that you have to stay within in order to get that to close up that way and look like it's just one solid piece uh, has to be, you have to have no air almost. I, I, I don't remember. I remember reading that there has to be such a minute amount of air. It's like 0. .000 something in order for this to fit properly and look like a constant seal. Uh, there cannot be any, uh, any air within finishing this pen. So, uh, you know, one little mistake or what have you, and you have to get a new piece restart. So there is the internals. You have a little O-ring in there, it looks like. Is that an O-ring? Yeah, that's an O-ring in there. And then your mechanism for the bolt is going to be housed up in there. Let's put him out. Or no, up. I'm sorry. No, that would be... What would that be? That would be in. Okay. But... Uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll get the price. So you'll have to bear with me. They have a carbon fiber pen that comes in at 55. They're having a sale right now, it looks like, on all of their pens. Uh, 55 with 5% off. They also have the titanium one. I believe that's the titanium one for the base titanium one, which I believe is this guy here, which should be... 55 yep uh titanium 55 and then about boy they got a bunch of models guys an insane amount the stainless steel one is going to come in at 40 with 10 percent off uh they have black stainless steel they have custom uh engraving that they do they can put your initials on there. They do DLC black titanium. Uh, that one's going to be 71 with 10% off. So it just it's really going to depend on the size and style that you get. Uh, you can get the gray titanium for 55 with 10% off. Uh, they also have, let me find the aluminum one as well. It looked like that one was going to be... 40 with 5% off, I think. Let's just double check. So yeah, the aluminum slim is going to be 40 with 10% off. The base aluminum one, which will be what you guys saw here, those are going to come in at 40 and have a 5%. So it looks like every pen that they offer right now uh, they also have some forced patina ones, copper, that have like a shipwrecked patina on them. Uh, they have those as well. Those are going to come in at 140 with 10% off. So the uh, options there are pretty, pretty extensive there. They also have the mini bolt action aluminum, which is going to be about 35 with a $5 coupon. So it's about half the size of this one. Uh, so like I said, guys, they have a ton of different offerings. I will link the, the uh, Amazon Bastion uh, website down in the description. And I will also link Bastion's personal website as well. Uh, Bastion, 
There's their email designed in the US. Now I'm not sure where or who manufactures these. Uh, designed in the US and then must be made elsewhere, but elsewhere, I don't know. Uh, we could speculate, but I'm not going to do that just because I don't know. But uh, it's really, <clears throat> as far as the quality of the product, that's really irrelevant because they're designed here and then there's you know that design is sent off to be machined elsewhere and then they come back to the u.s and i have to believe that bastion in the u.s uh quality controls every single one of these you know sets everything up as far as the packaging is concerned so you're going to be getting a good reliable pen from them i've had this one for uh it's been quite a while and still going strong i love it it's nice and lightweight like i said and then i've, I've been pondering getting the mini sized one as well for like pouches and stuff like that it's not the best for long-term writing you know but for taking a few notes or making a quick list you know, or just having a writing utensil on you at all times or in a pouch or something that you can access at all times. Uh, it's just very invaluable stuff, guys. Having a pen, you know, until you, I'm sure everyone watching this that's still watching this for, you know, whatever reason you are, uh, has been in a, you know, scenario where they didn't have a pen and they needed a pen. Uh, that's, you know, kind of what we're talking about. Not only those types of situations, but, you know, making that quick list or making a, a to-do list or items you need to get. Maybe you have to write, maybe there's an emergency message you have to leave or write. Whatever the case may be, having a good quality pen is paramount in my opinion. I think, uh, you have to have a writing utensil on you or very close by. Why don't we go ahead and we'll actually see how this guy writes and kind of compare. I can just hear it now. Somebody will say, you just did that whole video on these pens and you didn't write with it. You didn't even write with it. So let's go ahead and let's get it warmed up right with it looks pretty clean looks clean how about the other one how does that one right after see this one i don't know if they'll there i'm assuming they'll be the same but this one has broken in extremely nicely this is what i use I use a variety of pens, but I use this one a lot just because it's so lightweight and it's got a good size to it that you can write for an extended period with this guy and not have any trouble. Uh, yeah, it must be, I'm guessing, either very similar refills or the same exact refill. And I have to guess, and maybe you could even drop like you know, you're obviously watching this. You're probably a knife guy. You have some uh, nano oil or some sort of lubricant. You could take a little tiny drop, a very minuscule drop, and drop it in there. And, you know, they're moving parts. Get a little bit of lubrication on there. I won't put a ton in, just one tiny, tiny little drop. And that'll probably smooth that out even more uh, i'd give it a day or two though and just keep messing with it this is already breaking in but uh make sure you like the video make sure you comment down below let me know if you have a bastion pen or you're looking for your next pen and you might be considering uh, Bastion here, which I highly, highly recommend. There's tons of good companies out there, guys. But uh, Bastion is easily accessible, very affordable, and they got a ton of different materials, sizes, and very good price points. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. 
Greatly appreciate it, everyone. If you hung out this long, make sure you are subscribed because you are definitely a part of the family. No question. Thank you to and shout out to Bastion for sending this guy along for me to take a look at, put a video out on. Really appreciate it. Really enjoy their pens and their customer service is top notch. Uh, you know, so that's another thing. You're going to get a good, affordable product. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, they are easy to access and talk with uh, via their email or probably on Instagram. That'll wrap this one up, guys. That is the Bastion Slim Titanium Pen. I will catch you guys on the next one. Go watch another video. Peace.